Hey everyone, this is Kevin from Downtown Pittsburgh Dogs. Thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to give you a quick tip here as the lazy, hazy, hot, and humid days of summer come to us very quickly here in Pittsburgh. Your dog definitely gets hot faster than you do in the summertime and in the extreme weather conditions, right? We know this. Dogs are always wearing a fur coat. Um, if you can f picture anything that we do compared to what they do, the equivalent that I've seen is if you've ever worn a pair of fleece-lined long underwear, you know, that kind of go all the way to your arms, on both arms, neck, and all the way down to your legs, that long underwear, and if, especially if it's lined underwear, uh, is extremely powerful for us to go sit at the Steeler games, uh, you know, go hiking when it's cold in the winter, go skiing downhill. That helps us a ton, but the, the do our poor pupsters are wearing, the, wearing that all the time. So what you need to be thinking about, just be conscious of their temperature. I generally say that most dogs probably run about 15 degrees warmer than we do. I don't know where I came up with that calculation. That is just my number that I use. And what I mean by that is if it's 70 degrees outside, your dog is probably running as if it were 85 degrees outside. If it's 80 degrees out, like it is on a day like this here in Pittsburgh, your dog's running at about 95 degrees. So that is very, very hot for your dog. So what you need to be conscious of and what I tell people to do is to make up your dog's exercise, do most of your dog's exercise in the morning time and the evening time, basically when it's cool, right? Get it all done before, uh, you know, 11 a.m. Um, or do it after, you know, 4 or 5 p.m. Um, and make sure you find some shade when you're on the walk. Don't go running through the sun on the pavement all the way down to Point State Park for an hour and a half in the middle of the day. Do that at 7 o'clock at night when you can take a nice walk with your dog. It's still cool but uh, warm, you know, not too hot. Also bring water for your dog. Those little collapsible bowls are very helpful. Uh, we use those when we take our dogs out because it's nice to have a bowl and you can dip some, uh, put some water in there and give a dog a chance to take a sip with the water. Um, also make sure to not push your dog too hard with exercise. I know a lot of you like to go running with your dog. Just, again, do that in the evening or the morning time so that your dog has a chance to uh, take care of itself and not uh, overheat. Because dogs don't sweat like we do. They only get to release uh, their, their heat through their mouth. That's why they pant. And so if you watch a dog and they're really, really panting, uh, it's time to you know cut back, let them cool down, give them some water, let them jump in some water uh, if there's a safe place for them to do that along your way. And uh, just make sure everybody's safe, is safe, have fun as always, but make sure everybody is staying cool. Again, this is Kevin from Downtown Pittsburgh Dogs. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below or send me a message. Talk to you soon.